Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles and we're going to do another pairing video and then we'll go over to Patreon and talk about what we're going to make with them and what we're going to do. But before I do that, Kurt and I were just talking off camera literally a second ago. I said, Kurt, man, views are down. I think YouTube hates us. You know, I don't know what to do. And Kurt goes, I have an idea, Matt. And I said, Kurt, what's your idea? Because Kurt's a genius, man. He has these great ideas. Hell, that's why Patreon exists. He's like, I think you just got to show a little more cleavage. So come on, view me, guys. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Past that now, it's time to get some views on, uh, or some views on. It's time to get, or, or maybe, maybe you guys like leg. Maybe I should, a little bit of leg guy. There we go. Woo! Anyway, <laughs> back to reality before I get completely fired. So we're going to start with pairing our Orange Dream Pastel Female. Now this is an interesting girl. Uh, let me pull her out really quick and show her off to you. Now she's side lands. So I don't want to get her all the way out. I'm just going to set her up here. I'm going to take a moment to clean while Kurt's showing her off. I gotta find where I put my paper towels because doing there they are. A lot of cleaning earlier today over here. So, what this is is a two gene female. Now she did not lay eggs for me last year. She did miss, but you can see how she's kind of on the side. You can look kind of ridged up here. That's all a really good sign. So my hope is that this year we get a little more luck out of her, right? Can you do it this year, baby girl? I think you can. So who are we pairing her to? Well, in an effort to avoid retained sperm, things like that. We're using the exact same male we had last year. Uh, now we know he works, we've used him before. So we know he's a proven commodity. And he is our little inchy boy here. Get on in there little inchy boy. We don't call him inchy because it's only an inch. Don't embarrass him like that, he's got more than that. No, inchy's just the name of the gene. It kind of brings out some of this different coloration. Uh, to me, inchy's unimpressive on its own. I'll be honest, I, I'm not a fan on its own. But in combos, it does really good. So we do think they can help clean this up a lot and make it look really, really nice. Really, really nice. So we're going to put those guys back in there. Move this to here. And then we're going to go down next to this girl here. Now this is a big old girl. Okay. Oh, she is just a normal. We refer to her as the het pied knot. That was because we took this animal in trade to uh, finish covering a debt that was owed us for an animal. And it was traded to us as a het pied. Now, the person we got it from, and uh, truth be told, God rest his soul. Unfortunately, he did pass away. It was not his fault. Uh, he had picked it up as a het pied. So he wasn't the one that made a mistake on this girl. You know, he was working in good conscience. But we're pairing this to our scaleless head lemon blast. Just trying to make some basic scaleless head stuff. You know, uh, scaleless head lately hasn't been super sought after. However, I still like it. I really do want to do some full-blown scaleless just for my personal collection, so we continue to work that direction. We'll put this back in there. My God, she weighs a ton. And you're seeing me move the tabs. If you didn't watch our tab video, that's how we track progress and what's going on. We're going to go to snake three for you. Now, this is a snake I love. And again, look at that behavior. So you're seeing... What I refer to as side lane, and I didn't coin that name, I stole it from somebody else. And what that is, is you see how the snake sides kind of up here? That's usually a really good indication of some follicle building and some good things going on. Now we'll pick her up here, and you'll see she is not ovulated or anything. I can guarantee you that. She's still looking quite normal, so no surprise there. Get you back in there, girly. And her being a straight calico, we are trying to make more calabies. Why? Because I freaking love them. So she is getting my original bumblebee male. This was one of my first two ball pythons. I got two at the same time. This was my first introduction to owning these great animals. And Apollo was one of those along with Erebus. Erebus has never been bred for us. Um, he simply gets to hang out, live the life of luxury, pretty chill. But Apollo, he has to put in work. So, sucks to be him, I guess. Next up is a pairing, guys, I'm really, really excited about. And that is this girl right here. Oh, man, did you make a load in there for me to clean up? So, what she's doing is she's moving a lot of litter out the way. That is also a really good sign. That could uh, be what you call a nesting behavior. Although, I don't think she's truly nesting yet. I think it's just quinky dink. Sometimes, those aren't always signs. And I'll prove it because I'm going to shuffle all this back in here. And she's going to probably 
not recreate it. But she is a really cool snake. Oh, I thought you had more in there for me. Get that out of there too while I'm in here. But as you can see too, no ovulation there, nothing going on with that. So what she is, is just a single gene, black pastel. So once you get her out, it doesn't look as much nested as it did. Get this kind of all fluffed back up for you, baby girl. You can go play in there all you want. <laughs> but what we're doing with her, is she's proven for me as well. So she is being bred to our Suma male. Now, he literally just shed. So you're gonna get to treat to see him looking really nice and really grand. I'll set him in there. So that is a super mahogany. So the expectation would be to get some mahogany black pastels. We will then be holding some of that back. I'll ask Patreon information, but I'll kind of give you an idea of what we do on there. We'll be keeping some of that back if we do hit what we're after with the idea to breed a black pastel mahogany back to the Suma to try to get some Suma black pastels and truly get that jet black snake. So this is a part of a project. We will be releasing some, however, though, as we really are only looking for that holdback. Ah, what are you doing? Get in the cage. There you go. <laughs> we have witnessed quite a few locks from that pairing too, so we're pretty good. I think we have one more to do with this group here, and that is going to be, not that one, I took that one off the list. This one here, if you're wondering why I took that one off the list, it was because I wanna put that male on break. So this is a big old Mojave girl. Now, neither one of my Mojaves went last year as part of the move. I got pretty high hopes for this girl here this year. Come here, you. Let's have a look-see at you, shall we? And you can just look how thick that back end is. You know, she doesn't really like that too much. See? So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good with her, but no guarantee. She is one that did fool me last year, too. Stop fooling me. It's not nice. And with her, we're keeping it pretty simple this year. And we are going just straight up to our GHI mail. The reason for that is there are not many two gene combos that I like better than a GHI Mojave. So I'll put that one back. All right, Kurt, any questions? No. All right, guys, that's five pairings. We got at least, I don't know, probably 10 more to do for these videos are over. Not 10 more videos, 10 more total pairings. I think we'll have it covered then. Uh, but... We will mix some other things in as well. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.